Hello. Hello. Hey. You can kind of hear the TV in the background, but it adds to the ambiance, I think. Tea. Let me give you the tea. This whole thing started a couple weeks ago, it feels like now, when I got COVID. When I'm sick or I'm like feverish, if I have a sore throat, especially if I have a sore throat, like I, for some reason, have zero taste for coffee. Zero taste. And I'm usually a coffee gal, like I'm usually a coffee connoisseur as we know. Coffee is mood, don't wake me up until I've had my coffee, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee, don't interact with me until I've had my coffee. So this is like a strange time for me. And I didn't have coffee for like almost two weeks, I think. Cause like I was having, you know, those kind of symptoms and I just didn't have any taste for coffee. But I still, I was like, I need something hot. So usually when I'm feeling under the weather i really go for some hot tea since this past week the one good thing to come out of this was my love for tea made its comeback and it has remained i also saw on tiktok that florence Pugh, who is an actress who i love love her um, she has a specific way of drinking her tea. So I want to like make her tea the exact way that she wants to. There are also a couple other British people that I would like to like get in the vibe of. We, you know, I love British people. I love the Brits. I love the Brits. So where else would I have gone to get some British items than Publix? I went to Publix, y'all. Walmart, haven't heard of her. Cause they have this little international aisle there and it's like my favorite place ever. I got some Yorkshire tea. This is like the British tea. Louis Tomlinson from One Direction had a birthday cake that looked like Yorkshire tea. So we know we have to have this. I bought this like, I'd say like two times before it's like good tea it's like strong good tea this was 10 bucks which i feel like is pretty expensive for tea well they're 80 tea bags so let's have a proper brew you know british things happening all over the place it kind of reminds me of the show um all creatures great and small on pbs it's a cute show. I love it. I have such a big brain because that show is literally based in Yorkshire. So that's literally a picture of where the show is based. So that's why it reminds me of it is because it is it. So. Okay. I would love to be sponsored by them. But anyway, so first I guess I'll show you like the teas that I have grown to know and love, like my two favorites. I'm a big green tea gal, and I bought this kind like so many times. I love a good green tea. And then I love a matcha green tea. I'm like, you don't have to say it. I know that I am the healthiest person that has ever existed, even though I just had two hot dogs and fries at Rick's. But then I balance it out with a good green tea. Supreme matcha green organic i don't know everything's just so fancy and beautiful like look how pretty this is at publix like there's a gritty doing like a back bend or something on there because this is for the healthy like pilates girlies i guess anyway let's try florence pew's tea recipe so there are two, actually two videos there's one that kind of went viral if you will on tiktok oh, i will watch the tiktok so it depends. First. i'm probably gonna have yorkshire yorkshire tea <laughs> boil the kettle tea at the bottom tea bag in the bottom pour the hot water up maybe from like an inch from the top i do a bit of stirry stirry first most people will say just let it brew but i do a bit of a stirry stirry and then i let it brew and then I shake my oat milk uh, carton so that it gets all nice and creamy. And then I'd say I pour it so that maybe we're like a centimeter from the top. 
And then I do another stir just so that it gets like a really nice thick glossy brew to it. Sometimes if you don't do the extra stir, it get, it's thin and the consistency isn't as glossy. And then I do a squeeze, although my sister says I shouldn't do a squeeze. So I squeeze the tea bag, dump, go. So it's better, Love it. Okay, so that's basically what she does in this video that we're gonna watch. But this is her like actually demonstrating it. This is, this is real tea. Who wants to make a good cup of tea? Me. First step, boil your water. I'm pointing to a kettle. So, I know to some people you may be like, that's a weird step to start with, of course you boil the water, but since I've spent a fair bit of time in America in the last few years, I can assure you that not all Americans know that to make a good cup of tea, you need to boil the water and they use hot water. Do not use hot water. It will not brew. Hot water tea even. Bag. Yuck. In the correct way. Okay, so she says to use a kettle. This is the one thing that I don't have. There's a specific kettle that I want. I want to get the um, Drew Barrymore kettle. <laughs> From, from <laughs> what I always do personally, and it's t it's hot water, but it's like super hot water. I'll use my Keurig. I was gonna get a kettle, just like a whatever kettle, but I'm like, I want the Drew Barrymore kettle. Okay. Get yourself a good mug. A good mug. Good mug. Is just as crucial in this relationship with tea. Now, I don't have my mugs with me, but actually I don't mind this mug. It has a nice thick lip. So here's another thing. You can have to figure out if you like a thick lip or a thin lip. I like a thick lip. Thick lip. And we're gonna pop a tea bag in. My favorite tea is Yorkshire Gold. My granddad gold. told me that at a very young age and I have not left that station. Um, Yorkshire Gold or Yorkshire Red. Um, red. This is they red. They are a, a very good classic tea, and to me, they personally make the best brew. Pop that in there. What's Yorkshire Gold? I guess it's just like a better blend, high quality blend. At our local Publix, we don't have Yorkshire Gold. The TV actually is kind of loud. Get your boiled water. I'm sorry, she's like getting, like I feel like wrong doing this in the Keurig. And pour that, I'd say, all the way and leave an inch at the top because you need space. This is like a pretty similar mug. I think I'm just gonna use this plain white mug. It has a pretty, I guess compared to hers, it's like a thinner lip, but All right, so let's get the tea going. Wait, oh no, I'm supposed to put the, oh, that would have been incorrect. Okay, so we're gonna put the tea bag in the bottom first. This is like, it smells so, I love this smell of tea in the morning. So we have the tea bag in the bottom. I never put the tea bag in the bottom first, which maybe I should start doing. Maybe we could take a little few tips from Hello. Okay, so you can either let this just be for a bit and let that brew, go away, come back, check the news or something, or you can give it a story story because I'm impatient. So I'm going to do 12 ounces because I always do 12 ounces. Ooh, it already looks so dark. I need to get a tea, one of these. Coffee and tea. So. She said to leave about an inch at the top. This is a little bit more than an inch. This is um, a sign for her. And then we have her. the milk. So the reason why you've left that in is so that you have enough space for your milk. Oat milk, because oat milk has a nice creamy, silky taste and texture. That's very close to the whole milk in a tea. Um, and that's what I've been doing for the last few years. Pull that in. Okay, so I was looking closely at the kind of oat milk she got, and I think I got an exact replica. <laughs> Extra creamy oat milk. So there was a regular kind and then the extra creamy. You know, if you move to LA, you are required to stop drinking regular milk and drink oat milk. I don't know if I've ever had oat milk. 
and you want it to be good color. Now you also have to decide if you're a person that takes your tea bag out before the milk or you keep it in. I prefer to keep it in keep because it in. that way you can really control the uh, consistency, the um, thickness and the brew on your tea. This is the color which I actually think is a perfect color already. But see this tea bag, as I stir it, I can make that stronger and stronger and stronger and it's also oh, it's getting drink. thicker. Do you see? It gets thicker. The tea is actually becoming like a thicker drink. That's what I love. Hello. No spoons. Get a spoon. Let's see how light the color is. No, we need more. She put like quite a bit. I'm just not used to putting that much. I feel like this tea bag has been in there for a long. I'm just gonna put a bunch in there. Here we go, guys. Okay, I think this is about the color she had it. Oh, see, that's literally the same, isn't it? Squeeze tea bag. Even though apparently her sister said absolutely not. It's still really hot, but let's try Floyd's puke. That's pretty good. I mean, you can't really taste the oat milk. That's pretty good. Light cap. Oat milk. What am I going to use this for now? So I'll just drink some oat milk. Oh, I'm starting to really get it in my throat, like tasting it. It's good. Florence knows what she's talking about. There's also this other video when Sar Sarsha. Sarsha? Sersha Ronan. I always pronounce it wrong. And she mentions Scottish shortbread. Shortbreads are not Irish, they're Scottish. All butter, Scottish shortbread. Instead of like calories, it says energy. And I love that outlook on life. Ours are just like calories in bold at the very top and then like a huge line under it because this is like the most important thing is the calories. But they're like, this is how much energy this is gonna give you. This is how much. It's feeding your body. See, they get it. They get it. That is good. I'm gonna try to dip it in there. Wow. Mm. I feel like that little mouse that's like eating. This is getting better as it goes. Like, this is so good. little chunks of oats in there that's all good thanks for watching and if you're british out there please don't tell me i did anything wrong please